LA is in chaos right now. Protests on the streets and all over your feed. People stumbling through clouds of tear gas. But do you actually know what to do if you're exposed to tear gas? Well, here's a hint. Pouring milk in your eyes like this? That ain't it. Tear gas isn't even a gas. It's actually a chemical powder. The most common ones are CS gas and pepper spray. Law enforcement uses them to disperse crowds, but when these powders hit the air, they become a fine mist that's very difficult to escape. Let's clear up the social media garbage. Number one, milk does not neutralize tear gas. Don't waste your time with milk or Maalox or, or fancy oils. There's literally zero proof that those help. Now, what milk can potentially do is provide some temporary relief, specifically from pepper spray. Number two, don't scrub, don't rub, and don't go for any hot water. Heat opens up your pores. So what actually works? Well, here's the medical advice I would give my own patients. Step one, get out of the area. Move fast, go upwind. Higher ground is better since tear gas sinks low. Step two, don't touch your face. Step three, Remove contaminated clothes. Bag them up in plastic if you can. Step four, rinse with water or saline. A lot. Blink rapidly and flush your eyes with copious water or saline. Not milk. Be sure to lean your head to one side so it doesn't wash over your other eye, by the way. Step five, blow your nose and spit. Don't swallow. And step six, take a shower. But again, no hot water. So here's the bottom line. Tear gas is especially dangerous for people with asthma, COPD, or other lung conditions, kids, elderly folks, and anyone with a weak immune system. These are the people who can get into real trouble. If you're wheezing, can't breathe, having chest pain, or your eyes keep burning for more than 30 minutes, go to the ER and don't wait.